What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking on this video. Guys, Michigan gets beat tonight in the final game in the national championship game. They got, kind of got their ass beat, too. 79-62. Uh, to 62. Michigan tried to make a couple of runs, but <laughs> that kid from, uh, what's his name? The, the Deve I'm, I, know, I know I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but I got written down here, Devenzio. But I know I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly for Villanova. That when that kid came in, it was, it, that was the game changer for Villanova. Um, I mean, I got to give them props. They they played very well today. I mean, they were focused. They were they know what they wanted to do, and they were uh, they they were the team to beat. I mean, they were they were number one in the country for a reason. I'm not trying to take anything away from them. Uh, so congratulations to Villanova. Uh, Michigan tonight just didn't have any answer. I'm just going to tell you, they didn't have any answer. They Three-point shooting was three for 23, which is a paltry 13%. You can't – and the team looked lost all night. When they, Well, not all night. Uh, from about probably – I want to say from about seven minutes on into the first half all the way till the game ended, Michigan looked lost. They looked like they were – they were obviously they were out of rhythm. That You could tell they were tired. Um, when they got to the foul line in the second half, they couldn't hit any of, any of the free throws. Probably one of the worst nights to have a bad night. Uh, of any night to have one. I thought it might be a good game, but I also thought that it was it could be a blowout, and it didn't end up being a blowout. I mean, 79-62, to it probably should have been a 20-point, uh, almost probably a 30-point loss, 20-30 to 30 point loss. I mean, it, the, they kind of led up towards the end and let Michigan kind of get back into it there a little bit, so it wasn't such a bad loss. But Michigan just didn't have anything for Villanova tonight. They started out really well. I mean, they started out go, slashing to the hoop, making layups. The defense, I thought, was very good, and then they kind of went away from that. I don't know why they – but I, you could tell they were getting tired. I, I'm sure it was because they were getting tired. They were getting fatigued, uh, especially the, when the referees didn't call any fouls or anything. And it kind of – at the first half, I kind of thought they were leaning towards Villanova a little bit. You could tell frustration was starting to get in. And, and, you know, that kind of leads to everything else that happened in the game tonight. But that DeVenez De kid, or De, I can't even pronounce his name, when he came into the game, he, I guess he had the sixth man of the year award. When he came into the game, it was it was a game changer. That was the game changer. Um, Villanova started out not really hitting anything. I knew they were a good shooting team because I've watched them before. Um, yeah, I mean, they, were, they, they did everything right tonight. And Michigan kind of did everything wrong, I will admit that. They really couldn't seem to get anything going they really kind of couldn't get any momentum going towards them uh i mean it, it was just an ass whooping from villanova tonight just an ass whooping so but i hope this kind of gets john beeline into the national coach kind of conversation i think he is very underrated coach i mean well what with really what, what michigan had they made it all the way to the championship game and you know, it's that their bracket happened to fall the way it did. I mean, they got to the national championship game. That's how sometimes how the bracket falls. You got to have a little bit of luck along the way to get to the national championship game. You just can't play the best teams and meet the best teams to get to the national championship in a in a tournament style format like what we what we got. So, but yeah, I'm not really all that disappointed in Michigan guys. I mean, I got to see them in the final game of the season. I really hadn't really watched any Michigan basketball up until the tournament time. So, I mean, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Hopefully, Michigan can kind of get some players in here, kind of make a another kind of run. John Beeline, I mean, this is – I know this is his second time at the national championship. It's kind of been a bad run for Michigan as a far. I mean, this is the – goodness, this is the fourth time ninety since 91, I believe it has, and we've came up uh, on the short end of the stick. Uh, not, the, Michigan, the national championship game has not been kind to Michigan, let's put it that way, so – but I'm still going to rock the maize and blue, still rock it during the fall. I'm definitely going to rock it during the spring and the summer. It's not, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i proud of the team. I mean, I am. I'm very proud of the team to where they are. They should not be hanging their heads low, be crying, doing all that sort of stuff. I mean, the, the accomplishments of what they've done has been, um, it, it, it's been really great. Just the officiating in the first half put the tempo of the game, and you could tell frustra the, the frustration was starting to set in, and it kind of led to the offensive side where they just couldn't hit anything. And then when they did get fouled in the second half, which was kind of a better distribution of the fouls, when they got to the foul line, they just couldn't hit them. And I knew that was going to be a problem too. So um, I don't think I really have anything else here on my on my little uh, index card here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead. 
I'm going to get this uploaded. I knew I said I was going to do it Tuesday, but for the early game, I mean, I think the game got over at 11.15 Eastern time. I mean, that was a fast game. I mean, I think this is, I'm usually up till, usually the game's over right about now, and it's about midnight right now, so usually uh the yeah usually the game's over by now and you would start seeing the net getting cut down and doing all that stuff so but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it here guys great season by michigan i will say that um it's gonna be kind of an interesting season to see how michigan and michigan state and with i which i still got to make a video on with jackson leaving kind of see how this is all going to kind of boil boil out and kind of simmer out and see how the teams are going to do for uh some time so Guys, I'm going to end it here. Congratulations to Villanova for winning the national championship. I kind of would, wish it would have been a, uh, a little bit of a closer game, but Michigan just didn't have enough tonight, guys. I mean, they just didn't. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the final part here. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to hear some more stuff about maybe some sports vlogs. I also do beer reviews. I also do Detroit Tigers and Detroit Lions kind of post-game stuff, like kind of like what I did tonight. Uh, I know I'm not the best at this stuff, but I try to do my best. Um, I, it was just I want, I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comments too. I mean, let 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 me know. If, am I wrong? Am I right? Is there stuff that I missed? I mean, I, it was a thorough ass whooping by to me a thorough ass whooping by Villanova. It just was. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and here hit that bell which is up here. It's probably put it on the other side now. That I pointed up here, but hit the bell up here to get some more videos. Let you know when I post new videos so you can see them and uh, hit that subscribe button too. Why don't you? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. going to get upstairs, get some sleep. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces, guys. Take care.